a little bit uniquely, suddenly Marco Rubio is switching focus. Senator Rubio is trying to, uh, it seems, stop a little bit of momentum, according to the New York Times anyway. They write, for months, Senator Rubio ran an above-the-fray presidential race, high-mindedly dismissing his Republican rivals, promising a campaign his family could be proud of long after 2016. The New York Times says no more. Uh, In interviews, speeches, and in stealthier ways, Mr. Rubio has abruptly changed course, zeroing in on Senator Ted Cruz of Texas in an urgent effort to halt his momentum with conservative voters um, in Iowa and beyond. Senator Cruz, do you plan to change course? Well, look, our focus is going to continue to be on exactly where it has been, laying out my proven conservative record. Uh, I think voters are tired of of campaign conservatives, people who talk a good game on the trail but haven't walked the walk, and they're looking for someone who has been a consistent conservative. And listen, we shouldn't be surprised to see rival campaigns devoting their energy to coming after us. Frankly, if they weren't shooting at us, we wouldn't, have, we wouldn't be doing anything. And, and, and that has been the pattern of the Washington establishment. What the Washington establishment does, they don't fight Democrats. They attack conservatives. That's where they put their energy. That's where, as you noted, the Rubio campaign is spending their attack at, spending the, the candidate's time, is, is trying to attack conservatives, for example, for standing up against President Obama's indefensible plan to bring to America tens of thousands of Syrian Muslim refugees, particularly at a time of terrorism when the FBI cannot vet these refugees. I think it is lunacy to bring the refugees here. Well, I think the Rubio campaign is very, very concerned about this issue because Senator Rubio joined with Chuck Schumer and Barack Obama in the Gang of Eight amnesty bill that would have given President Obama even more authority to bring Syrian refugees here with no background checks. And so I think you can understand why they're attacking, because they're very nervous ab- about those issues. But, but I'm going to stay focused on the issues the American people care about, because, as you noted it, 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 just, just a moment ago, this is an extraordinarily perilous time. We're at a time of war, and we need a leader who will stand up and do what it takes to keep this country safe. And that's exactly what I intend to do. 